Okay, so I'm back. I have not changed anything. This is actually about 10 minutes after I recorded the last episode. So, um, now we're going to learn how to add a recipe and how to make it generate in the world as a ore. So, first we're going to do recipe. I have another paste bin link. It's a very short one, but I figured it was probably the best way to do it just uh, for you to have a good reference um, so you're going to go ahead and paste that in this is saying mod loader add recipe and right here is what you want it to create so we're just going to add cocor and this number right here is how many you want it to create like say you for example like how the ladder recipe crafts two ladders, you change this to a two. Which leave it as a one right now because I'm only using this recipe for testing purposes. Obviously, as this is an ore, there will not be a crafting recipe for it in the end. This right here, um, this stands for like the top line of the crafting bench, and it stands for red. Right now, it stands for redstone because of this. It says this the uh symbol here stands for item redstone so i'm just going to change this to be i don't know that would be the like it would go top line of code or here i'll show you um this would be the top line of the crafting table this would be the middle line and that would be the bottom line so I'm just going to change this real quick and then change this to same thing goes as for what it drops the same rules I'm just going to change it to block dirt for now just for testing purposes to make it easy and then this just closes the uh, code if you want to add a second thing let's say like Coco did sand, you would add in, I don't know, say, let's do P. You do add a comma there. And you'd add P. Do the same thing. And that would be all you do. So it would be one block of dirt on top of a block of sand. And there's another way to add shapeless recipes. I'm not 100% sure how to do that. But if you want to see that, I can do a video covering that. I'll just have to look up how to do it. So. If you want to, we can go test this real quick, but I don't see a point in that. So we won't. Um, the next thing we're going to learn how to do, and this will probably be a shorter tutorial, is we're going to learn how to generate, make the ore generate in the world. So here's another little chunk of code in paste bin. Copy that and paste it right down here below. I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully when we change all this it'll change. Rarity is the rarity of how often it spawns in the world. Just for a reference point, I think coal is 20 and diamond is between 7 and 10. Right now I think I have Kokor set at 12. Height above bedrock, you need to replace this whole thing with the number the number is going to signify like how many blocks above bedrock it can uh, spawn. So like if I put 25 here, 
Kokor can spawn up to 25 blocks above the bottom layer of bedrock. Here you just need to change it to what you want to uh what you want to be generating with this little piece of code so tutorial and then Kokor. And then vein size, you replace this with the number, and that is the maximum number of pieces of coke ore that can be found in a vein. So I'll say that I, I don't know why this is doing this. I will check real quick. And I will cut back to you when I figure it out. Okay, so I figured out what's wrong with this. Um, I put it in the wrong place. So it needs to go outside of this little symbol here. It needs to be outside of this public mod tutorial section. So paste it in here and just clear out some of that space there. And not sure what's wrong here, just I'll do that and that'll work. Okay, that got rid of the error. Now we can save this and go test it, I guess. Um go back to your MCP folder, which is that's not it. Anyways, now I'm here. Sorry, had to find it. And also I got distracted doing something else. Anyways, I'm back. Um you're gonna recompile. And it shouldn't take as long as it did the first time because you haven't really done anything as far as changing files. You just changed a little bit of code inside one of the files. The longest time I think I've had recompiling is a minute 24. And that was because I added about 15 files before I finally recompiled again. And it took forever. Anyways, it may take a little longer this time because I'm uh, rendering the first block tutorial video as I'm making this. So we'll see how it works out. And there it is. Then you can do start client. And it will come up here in a, in a minute. But if your mod, all you want to do is say add one or and have it do nothing, and that's all you want to do, you obfuscate here. Um, 
you would run that and then it would in here there would be a minecraft fo folder and everything in that minecraft folder you would just drag that into your minecraft.jar and that would ha and that's how you would put your file in like that's how you would put your mod in minecraft so i'll show that in a later tutorial but just so you just in case you were wondering that's how you do it oh uh... well i won't show how our thing generates because this isn't a new world and i really don't want to take the time to generate a new one just because Minecraft is running so slowly right now just because of the uh, video that's rendering in the background that should help a little I just need to change that because I do like classic controls a lot better So that should be good. That sh should be all we need. I'm going to make a pick real quick here so that I can show that. There's some sand. Let's run on over here. Oh my god, this is lagging so badly. And so, yeah. Um, I think our sand was below and our dirt was above. And there's our ore. Our coconut. And just to show that you can't break it with your hand, see it doesn't drop anything. And then when you use a pick, it does drop it. And it only drops one. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I will see you next time.